Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul video. Today's grocery shop is technically the fifth shop for us in June. So this is the fifth shop that is coming out of our $600 a month budget for our groceries for our family of five. For those of you who are new to following, who are new to following, that came out a bit wrong to start off with. <laughs> for those of you guys who are new to following, we have three kids, two of which are teenage boys who basically eat like adults. So we're an Aussie family of five, but let's call it four adults and one little person. Uh, and we have a grocery budget of $600 a month. Now, this month we have been trying to use up our supply of marked down mostly meats, but also some other goodies that are in our freezer so we can clean it out and it hasn't gone terribly well. So we are going to continue to eat down the freezer in July and I'm going to try a lot harder to do a lot better at that. But anyways, today is our fifth shop for June. I shopped at Aldi and Woolworths. The total came in at just over $118. It was $118.37 and um, this is pretty much a shop that is topping up a lot of the pantry things that we've used. So again, you're not going to see a lot of meat in this shop because we are trying to use up the things that we already have in our freezer. Um, but it is focused on replenishing some pantry staples that we have used up throughout June and fresh fruit and veg. So let me turn this around, show you what we picked up today. But this also finishes out our shop for June and I'm happy to say that we have come in under our $600 a month budget. I still have about $60 left in the cash envelope for this month. So that's gonna roll over to next month. So we have a little bit extra in July and I'm hoping July is also going to come in under $600 and we're going to put all of that money into savings simply by using up all the things that we already have, eating down the freezer, using up the things intentionally in the fridge each week, making sure that there's no waste, there's no leftovers that are going into the bin and making sure that we are rotating through the stockpile that we have in our pantry. So let's turn this around and let's have a look at what we picked up today. We started off at Aldi and again this week I've only picked up two litres of, uh, sorry, two containers of three litre milks from Aldi. Six litres isn't quite enough but that means we will use up a little bit more of the UHT milk that we have in the pantry and I haven't replaced any of that yet so we're actually using that all the way uh, down and then I'll replace it with another box of UHT milk from Aldi. We've also picked up another packet of Wheat Bix for breakfast and I did see some 50% off chicken in the meat department so I did grab it. Um, there is about a kilo and a half of chicken here. There's tenderloins that were down to $3.65 and that is about 800 grams of diced chicken which is down to $4.73 and there's probably... There is three meals there for us between all of that. So uh, I am still still tempted by those tickers when I see them, but I did well. I left a lot of the other stuff there. Uh, I've also picked up another block of cheese. The cheese is ever so slightly cheaper at Aldi. This was $7.70 for a kilo block. The equivalent at Coles and Woolies is $8 these days. I've also picked up another dozen eggs. We will use these for breakfast as well as um, in some baking. Um, but also, eggs are really cheap and easy frugal dinner, particularly to have at the end of the week. I love to do a use it up night uh, and you'll be amazed at what goes really well in an omelette or a frittata or some sort of egg baked dish. And eggs are great to have on hand, so we always have eggs on hand. This week for lunches, I have picked up uh, a packet of ham. We still have 
tons of bread. Uh, if you want to check out some of my earlier videos from this week, I have picked up a lot of marked down bread. So our freezers are full of loaves of bread. I am not buying any more. I didn't buy any today. We're going to use up what we already have. So I do, did pick up some sandwich things. Um, I've also picked up some tomatoes. They weren't a bad price at Aldi today, although they didn't look great. So we've only picked up three, uh, but we'll be able to do some ham, cheese, tomato, salad sandwiches. And I've picked up some baby spinach to go in that. The iceberg didn't look great today and it was quite expensive. I have also picked up some more butter for sandwiches. I still have enough of the big block of butter that I buy for cooking. I do keep those separate. And the other thing that we picked up today, which we don't often have, but uh, kind of felt like having, um, was some spreadable cream cheese. And that will go really nicely with these bagels that we picked up uh, that were also on special at Aldi today. In the vegetable department, I picked up two packets of carrots from Aldi. They were 99 cents a kilo again at Aldi, so I've picked up two. Uh, and the last two that I picked up from Aldi when they were 99 cents, I have just finished using. So that was excellent timing and I've just grabbed another two. I also picked up some more zucchinis. They were $3.99 a kilo at Aldi today, uh, so not a bad price. The potatoes have come from Woolies. They have their four kilo bag for $5.90 at the moment, which is a really good price. The other thing is that I find that these potatoes don't last too long. So I tend to only buy one bag, even though it's a really good price. Um, I'm only going to get a week or two out of these potatoes before they start to go a bit funny anyways. So unfortunately can't buy up big on that. But what I will do is use these, I'll make some potato soup, I'll get them into the freezer and it'll be good. Also picked up um, another liter or two liters, sorry, of orange juice. And then I've picked up some things for the pantry. So things like sugar, I've grabbed some more honey, I've picked up some garbage bags. I've picked up two uh, jars of the uh, red sun-dried tomato uh, red pesto from Aldi. I really like that. We've also used up all of the pasta. We used up all of the pasta that we had so last week um, we finished that off. So I have topped up our supply. So I've picked up two each of the spaghetti, the penne and the large shells. So that is replenishing our pantry supply of pasta. We usually keep a um, about a month's worth on hand and just use that up and I'll just go and buy just a whole heap like this um, rather than just going and buying one packet at a time um, also for the pantry I did pick up some more parmesan cheese for the guys they love putting um, the fake parmesan cheese on everything and I've grabbed some tuna and some salmon again these are really cheap um, and easy um, bases for meals so you can do like a tuna Mornay casserole or, um, or something like that or um, salmon and cheese quesadillas again having these on hand in the pantry they last for ages and I know that I can pull together some really cheap and easy meals with them or lunches so replenishing uh, those because we're completely out of all of those sorts of things in the pantry. I also picked up some unsalted peanuts to have um, if we're having a stir fry or um, something like that that just um, they're two dollars they last forever and just adds that extra dimension something a little bit different if you're doing stir fry or rice or noodles or or something so a little bit of fun there while I was in Woolies and I remembered. Um, also picked up these crackers from Aldi simply because they were they're marked down half price and you know always use crackers uh, unfortunately they are the garlic crackers so I can't eat them but everybody else can maybe that's a good thing maybe I don't need to eat so many crackers uh, anyways uh, the other thing I grabbed for the pantry is this big bottle of garlic infused olive oil this is fantastic if you are um, suffering from IBS or you're on the low food map diet uh, these Cobram Estate oils are amazing. They used to do an onion one as well. It's not in the supermarkets anymore, but you can buy direct from Cobram Estate. But 
this garlic infused olive oil puts that garlic flavor back into your cooking even though you can't actually eat garlic but it is not cheap this was $11.50 for the bottle so um, that really pushed up the price of today's shop but we do use it um, and this is a top-up shop at a pantry top-up shop so you know it's the time that I grab these sorts of things for fruit this week um, I did pick up some more grapes the red grapes um, worth $3.50 a kilo at uh, Woolies today and I also picked up a marked down bag of the blood oranges so that was down to $2 plus I know that there are some oranges growing on mum's orange tree which is pretty exciting and I think that there might be an apple or two left over from last week as well. Uh, I also grabbed this packet of marked down caps it was $3.97 for the tricolor, uh, and I will just dice this all up and have this in the freezer ready to go because I still have one each of the capsicums left over from last week that I bought. Uh, so if you want to check out last week's shop, I will link that up above. Um, and all of the shops from this week um, are on my channel, so you can go back and see everything that I picked up this week. And like I said in the intro, we have come in under our $600 budget for this month. I still have $60 left over, which is awesome. And we're going to do the same next week. And we're going to do the same next month <laughs> and really try to get to the bottom of that freezer. So again, you won't see a lot of meat, I think, in the coming weeks as we use up what we have. Unless, of course, I'm seeing things like this marked down and making the most out of this but honestly um, this week if I was to use there's three chicken dishes there I've got the eggs and I have the salmon and the tuna um, that would probably be enough meat one two three four five six seven I could get seven meals out of that um, as it is I know it doesn't look like a lot but you'd be surprised how far you can actually make all of that go so wouldn't necessarily need to buy any more meat than that this week but that's what we have and that is it for June we are all done